Department of Governance and Traditional Affairs, Nomusa Dubekube, has expressed her shock and condemnation of the barbaric act by unknown assailants who uh, earlier this morning set alight the department offices in Mayville. Our reporter Mlungisi Komalo is there covering the story for us. Mlu, thank you very much indeed for your time. What's happening there? Okay. I'm really sorry, it's, uh, it's Blaine here. Just tell us what's happening where you are at the moment. Okay, hi, good morning to you, Blaine, as well as to our viewers at home. Currently, we are in, in Mayville, where a cocktail officers apparently uh, were torched in the early hours of the morning. Now, Blaine, we understand that this is not the very first attempt uh, whereby these officers have been tried to be torched by protesters. Now, we also understand that on Tuesday, the, the protesters in this particular area uh, also tried to torch the very same officers. Now, according to the security guard who was here on Tuesday, where in the incidents happened, he was told by some of the protesters that they are demanding land which is vacant at the Kato Ridge area, or rather the Kato Menai area. And as a result of that dissatisfaction, they then uh, proceeded to uh, torching this particular building. And also, quite interesting enough, when we understand that the culture officers, uh, this is not the first time that these officers have been uh, um, uh, attacked. We understand that last February, uh, an armed, an armed gunman, uh, rather a number of armed gunmen, stormed this very building, and in the process, they stole computers and they also stole LCD TV screens. Now we, are, we do not understand the extent of the damage this was caused, but we understand that uh, uh, printer machines were also uh, torched behind me, and as you can see, plain firefighters are still busy trying to doze off the flame. Uh, but with me, I've got the HOD for Kokta in the province, who just give us an exact overview and a picture as to what transpired here last night. Thank you very much for your time. So, just briefly, what happened here last night, giving the viewers at home? No, good morning, sir, and uh, to the viewers at home. Um, we received the report in the early hours of this morning that uh, the offices in Mayville, where we are, were, have been touched. We then made the necessary arrangement to come to the scene, mobilize the necessary resources like the fire uh, uh, people to come, as you see them working behind us. Um, we have been able to, uh, we can confirm then that extensive damage to, the, to our offices has been caused, including the destruction of files, equipment, furniture, um, as, as well as other important materials. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. I'm just going to have to stop you there briefly because we understand that this is a developing story. I'm just going to cross over back to plane as I understand that we also have a breaking story. But we will keep you more updated on this particular scenario which continues to play itself out here at the Mayville Quarter offices to you, plane.